Okay, we've been out filling feeders. I got corn dust all over my shirt, but we're gonna talk right now about site selection uh, for a food plot. And basically you want a food plot where you're gonna hunt, uh, in my opinion. I mean, they, that's where the deer are gonna frequent the most. Uh, so where are you gonna hunt? You're gonna hunt in a certain area, but where you're gonna set your food plot up is where you wanna hunt and where the deer wanna be. Where deer want to be is they want to be around cover and water. You're going to pull the food in by putting in a food plot. So by the time you do have cover, food, cover, water, and food, you've got all three ingredients for a perfect food plot area and hunting grounds. Um, so where I'm at today is not the most prime. I mean, most people wouldn't pick out the spot that I picked out here at Deer Pond. Reason I picked this out is it was already a general area the water the the uh, deer wanted to be, but I've got water down below this hill, runs the full 360 degrees nearly around this whole hilltop on all sides, and I have cover 360 degrees. Now I'm in an open 20 acre field, 15 acre field right in the center of all the cover with the water surrounding this hilltop. I just know the deer want to be here, so I started putting in food plots. But what I also did is I put in my own cover. So I've planted somewhere around 4,000 oaks and another uh, 2,000 pine trees around my food plot. So I'm creating the cover here uh, because there's already, there's good food and there's good water. But site selection for a food plot, in my opinion, that's where the deer want to be. And that's the closest area to cover and water. And then you just put in the food and uh, you've got all three main ingredients for a good place to hunt when you have food cover and water. Thank you.